What's up, everyone? Welcome to Nerd Acumen Wrestling, episode 12. We're 12 weeks in here, and I appreciate you guys joining us for yet another exciting evening of Nerd Acumen Wrestling. We have five matches and five titles on the line tonight, so the rules are simple. Vote on who you think will win. If you get it right, you get one point. If you get it wrong, well, oh well, you got it wrong. Nothing to lose here. If you get the most right by the end of the show, you could decide a match for the next episode. You can put yourself in the main event, you can put yourself in a title match, you could put somebody else in a three-on-one handicap match, whatever you want to do, you control the show because you guys are the show. So again, thank you all for joining us. And we're going to get on with the show here tonight so we can get the voting and the action underway. What's up, everyone? What's up, Sarah? What's up, Rob? What's up, everyone joining us? Joshua? I, Rob, you did not win yet. So let's not simulate, <laughs> but we'll start the show. What's up, other arrogant one, Andrea Lana? Thank you for joining us, everyone. So again, the rules are simple. You just pick who you think will win, and you get a point. Sarah votes herself. Not a bad vote, since you are a multi-champion right now. You hold all the women's titles, actually. The women's Twitch. The DNA women's and the women's tag. I Rob votes his wife. Probably another smart choice. This is Rob and Rob. Yeah, Rob versus Rob action. It's the Rob indirectly. Valet team. It's true. The Robs are the valets tonight. The women are the stars here. Yeah? See? No. If you didn't know, this is the show. NAW. Same. Stands for Nerd Acumen Wrestling. For those that tune in every week, you guys already know, but I appreciate you. So this show takes place in Pontiac, Michigan. How Desi exciting. Desi picks Sarah. So Desi is indirectly voting through the likes of Andrea text message, so it's documented with the timestamp, so there is no cheating here if anyone wants to call shenanigans. Um, he is voting. So he won't be in chat. He's, again, indirectly voting. But our first contest here features kind of smallish, the women's champion, against Amy. Both of them have valets. Get your votes in. I believe Rob has already voted and Sarah has already voted. Desi voted for. I'm going with Amy. Wait, why is the wrong Rob with the wrong... Is that backwards? That is backwards. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. The game put them backwards. That'll mm. make things really interesting. But I'm definitely going for Amy because she has <laughs> Rob, not dumb Rob. <laughs> that is definitely People not. People who watch the show probably think like we legit hate each other. <laughs> so who did Desi pick here? Desi, I'm assuming, still picks Sarah. Okay, who are you picking? I'm picking Amy. Okay. Because Sarah took my belt from me. It's rude. I mean, true. Get your votes in chat. Do I have? Oh, this is the first time we get to see Sarah's new character too. This is yes. So we have a redesign as a champion. We have champion Sarah here. So yeah, as you guys can see, new attire. New hair. New hair. New makeup. She's that's hot. That's what the gold does to you here. Mm -hmm. So get your votes in. Hi, Rob says, hi, Andrea. <laughs> hi, Rob. <laughs> Locke voted Sarah. Didn't see that one. <laughs> Did you see Sarah? So close. I, do I have tickets to the show? The gun show. Can I get a refund? Oh. Lumberjacks. Technically, yes. And Sarah says she actually has makeup on. <laughs> I don't think Travis is well versed in the. I didn't put makeup, makeup on though. anyone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As you can see, Sarah, you put time into creating your character. You can only understand now how long it took to make this roster and arena and all this stuff. It could be time consuming. My Rob says Travis never do they they again. I'm assuming that. Let's see if the correct. Rob comes out. Said with Rob. Did you see that? Yeah, both Rob. 
I know, but he's not called Rob. He's called Locksteady. Oh. Let's see if he follows. I look like the weird bit and snap. Like, <laughs> is, that a, is that like a character that does that? Or is this like a... Like, yeah, see the right Rob. is with it. Like, see? Weird. The matchup screen is all I screwy. Guess that's the yeah, you got me. Is that like a, a character? Or is that like a generic? Yeah, it's Dana you know? Brooke. She did probably in the beginning. Rob says no more gun shows. I mean, come on, dude. Whatever, man. Don't hate. Appreciate. Team Dad Bod, right? I don't think Rob has a match tonight. Neither do I, buddy. This is your appearance. I don't even think I'm scheduled to be on the show at all. So again, make sure you get your votes in. If you guys are the strong, silent type, don't be shy. Come vote along with the show. You get the most right. You get to control the show, and you want to do that because it's more fun that way. Brett has arrived. Welcome, everyone. And make sure, no caps, because Nightbot hates you all. Here we have the champion with, again, the new attire. So we even have custom attire on the walkout. Lock steady creeping behind, though. Take the purple. She worked a long time with that baby character. Does she? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the uh, tools they give you to oh. paint it are not that easy. Brett already spamming caps. Dude, I even gave you warning. <laughs> he <laughs> said he had to do it. Oh man, you guys just like to hate on that Nightbot. Fun game now. I think the rivalry is stronger between Brett and Nightbot than it is with Brett and Locksteady here. <laughs> so again, this is our opening contest. Brett, do you want to get your vote in real quick? Amy or Sarah for the women's championship? Sarah says you're not even kidding about the design time. I spent basically the whole stream last Thursday working on it. I didn't even touch my entrance. I mean, yeah, that's true. It, it takes a lot of time. It's worth it, though, as you can see. Having a custom character is definitely worth it. I Rob asked how he Brett says, people. voting for Sarah. Who says what? I Rob asked how he could update his vote. Uh, Rob, you need to come visit. Or... By the game. Well, Rob, I think, has the game. If you want to upload your character, um, I can download your design. Just let me know the hashtag. Obviously, I have your gamer tag. She's even got hoop earrings on. Man, she went all. She's she has serious. a tattoo. Yeah, get it, girl. So Brett says, "Sarah, damn, you went all out." <laughs> <laughs> Brett says, "You cheated." <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out here because this is for the championship. <laughs> and our opening contest has begun here. Immediate tie-up, a little leg sweep oh, there. What is this, Karate Kid? It is the Karate Kid. Big suplex. Amy on the advantage to start this match off against the champion. Rob watching on the outside closely, hoping for his wife to get her uh, first championship. Let's see if the Robs get involved here. Rob says, cheat to win, baby. She lies, she cheats, she steals. <laughs> Brett says, psych. So you see Locke sitting on the south side here, watching closely, cheering on his wife. Irish whip, knee to the midsection, flipping over Sarah. Knee to the back, right into the spine. That's gonna leave a mark. Reversal. Can the champ come back? Suplex. A little time for showboating. Getting the crowd on her side. Get some momentum going. Clothesline. Up and over. The match is now on the outside. Do it the John Cena way. Get your ass kicked most of the match. Have the most epic comeback known to man. Ain't that the truth. Fans are getting close-up action here. 
Yes, sir's getting whipped right into the barricade. You can hear a 10 count. There are count outs in this match. Champion retains with a count out. So I don't know if that's the way the challenger would want to get this win. Rob says, who is this John Cena you speak of? I don't know, I can't see him. 10-count countout. <laughs> Sarah says the wall isn't even padded. What the hell, Pontiac, right? Countdown almost back in the ring. All right, action continues here. Champ back in the advantage. Was the damage done, though? Champ going to top rope, high risk here. What is she planning on doing? Taunting the challenger, making her stand up. What is going to happen? Elbow reversed. The champ still gets up though as the challenger watches on the apron. Big shoulder thrust. Amy goes flying on the outside. High risk? No, just taking the time to taunt. I thought for sure she was going to go off the top to the outside. That would have been incredibly impressive. Waiting for the challenger to get back in. Both miss with big rights. Amy sets up a DDT note into suplex. Little stomps working on the right arm now. Rob says thrusting, huh? You got excited by my commentary on that one. Rob's always about some uh, thrusting and some dick punches. Isn't that right? Kick to the midsection. Setting up a possible signature. Fisherman. One count. Not even close here in the opening contest. Setting up another signature. Twist of fate. Amy is down. Are we going to see a second pinfall attempt here? Rob says dick punches are the best. Amy gets a face full of canvas, making out with the ground. Reversal. Back and forth here in this match. Still anyone's game. Pinfall attempt. Challenger. One count. Brett says, nah, eye pokes. Some cheap punches to the back there, wearing down her opponent. Up and over on the apron, holding on. Sarah, shoulder thrust as well. On the outside, Amy taking a moment to get the crowd on her side now. 10 count begins. You gotta erase that scrub. Eric the Dead, man. Rabbit ran him off. <laughs> oh, almost in the fans' laps there. European uppercut. Seeing it look like a pinfall on the outside. Get a nice view of the lamp from the ceiling here. Yeah, that's always fun. Blocking the action. 10 count here. Setting up another twist of fate. Second of the night here. Is it going to be enough for a pinfall? Sarah getting the crown on her side. Taunting. Asking if she wants them to finish the match. Is she going to go for the finish? Amy trying to crawl back up to her feet. Sarah waiting patiently. What is she going to set up here? Big DDT face into the canvas. Is it enough to retain the championship? Champion Sarah pulling Amy, the challenger, to the middle. Setting up a pinfall attempt. Does she have one, two, three? The champion has retained the title here in this opening contest, scoring Sarah, Desi, Locke, and Brett one point to start the show. Congratulations. Hashtag rigged, hashtag squash. I don't know what to tell you. Brett, you got a point. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too proud. 
Brett, I think overall might have the most accurate picks throughout the course of NAW. It helped him rise to the top for sure. But the one that is still at the top here is indeed our women's champion. The person that we have not seen tonight, we probably won't see, is the arrogant one, Andrea. She ran her off and we got some cheers from Sarah. Thanks for the three cheers. Hip, hip. Hooray. Yeah. So thank you for that. Speaking of cheers, if you have bits or want to earn bits, you can watch a little bit of ads to get some free bits. And if you want to cheer those bits, you will be eligible for either the men or women's Twitch championship. And that is the only way to earn a chance at it unless someone challenges you for or places you in that match. But again, to become a contender for that belt, definitely give us some cheers. It's free. Let's move on to our next contest here tonight. This is a match that Brett actually wanted. He requested this with getting the most right last week. Hmm? So we have Brett and Aiden versus the champions, newly crowned champions, Donnie and Mikey. Get your votes in now. Which said go sit on a pine cone. I mean, you can watch ads to get hits. <laughs> They're free. Brett says I feel uncomfortable. Get your votes in now. Tag Team Championship match. The challengers, Aiden, Brett, Donnie, Mikey, the champions. Brett is voting for Team Brett. Get your votes in, Andrew. I've got to vote for Donnie and Mikey. Brett says he can't watch ads. Sorry. Andrew voting for Donnie and Mikey. Family. Sarah voting for Donnie and Mikey. Rob votes for Brett. Get your votes in now. Uh, it's your is voting for Brett here. And throw him a bone. Tag Team Championship, NAW. Champs retain from Desi. So Brett, Rob, and Locksteady voting for Brett's team. Andrea, Sarah, and Desi voting for Donnie and Mikey. Get your votes in now. Then you get one point if you get it correct. Chris says, I need some gold. He's feeling naked. I need it. So our second contest here, the NAW Tag Team Championship. New Gen, your challengers. Uh, Rob asks if this is uh, precious. Yes, yes, yes. So championship gold is nothing strange to Brett here in NAW. Can he come back and win a title? He actually has two opportunities tonight. The main event of the evening is for the NAW championship. The match that he was granted None other than by the champ himself, Locksteady. Eric Amanda, vote for Mikey and Donnie. Thanks for getting your votes in. Or votes, rather. Will there be dick punches? Um, maybe? These are your newly crowned champions. Rabbit says boobies. Booby punches, that's just mean. That's just mean. That's not nice.
A couple of eye pokes, a couple of dick punches, some boobs. You got it all here in NAW. What more can you ask for? So, again, if you're just joining us, all five matches this evening are for titles. All titles on the line here in episode 12. Why does someone keep yelling, oi? It's Pontiac, Michigan. Isn't that what they do there? Brett says nothing weird. Nothing short of weird. So your champions here looking mighty confident. We'll see if they have what it takes to take down Brett and Aiden. What is happening in the chat right now? They're all getting very friendly with each other. Tight community. And the match is underway. Our second match of the evening here. Two of five in total. Starting out with a tie-up. Brett getting thrown there. Mikey, what's up? What did you miss? You missed just the opening contest Sarah retained from Amy. Your title is on the line right now. So thanks for joining us. I'm assuming you're going to vote for yourself here. So I'll just I'll just jot you down and it's voting for yourself. <laughs> just pencil that in. So we have a little bit of showbunning on the outside. Aiden supporting his tag team partner, Brett. There were the two of the first expansions to our roster here in NAW. So we definitely appreciate having them. Um, the challengers have not, though, if anyone's has been uh, has been going after the belts. At the top has been Brett for sure. But currently at the top of the mountain is none other than our own one and only Lock Steady. Correctamundo, says Mikey. So thanks for joining us, man. Oh, wild miss, but an impressive maneuver nonetheless. Mikey waiting to get in this match. Well, he was kind of forced out of the match, getting knocked off the apron there. Just doing what he's supposed to do, waiting. Count out happening. Donnie getting back in the ring. Mm, it's Aiden. Back on the advantage. A little bit of stomping, working on his knee. Brett says, I didn't know I had an idiot as a partner, but it's whatever. I mean, if you get the votes right again, you can request a different tag team partner. I believe you requested this one last week. It is documented. Donnie's spending a little time showboating here. The fan favorite team for sure has the crowd on their side this evening. Setting up a potential finisher here. Is he going to end this thing already? End of days. Pinfall attempt. The ref is distracted though. One, two, two count. He kicks out. Fluff has been your partner since day one. Going high risk. Having his opponent stand waiting. Hammer fist drops it down. Demi gravity always keeping me down. You know, that's what I do. Gravity well, or gravity holds everyone down, right? Fluff setting up, it looks like a, a little tag team move here on, on the champion. He's basically Vince. <laughs> Working on the arm is Brett. Trying to wear his opponent down. We still have yet to see Mikey in this thing. Desperately need a tag. Setting up an interesting submission. Is he going to make Donnie tap out? No. He gets the break there. Sending Donnie up. Helping him to his feet. 
What's he going to have him do? Knee to the face, and yes, it's legal here. What's he setting up? Another knee into a clothesline. Donnie desperately needs to tag in his partner, Mike, into this match. This is not going well. Setting up a finisher there, or signature rather. Crawling to tag out. Will Brett let that happen? Stopping him. Clothesline, Donnie. Takes him down, will he tag out now? He has time, he has a chance. Or does he have a second wind? On the outside, Andrea cheating, throwing in a chair for her team. Is that legal? Rob says, or Brett says, is the hat still on? How is the hat still on? Yeah, it's Velcro, probably. Velcro holds all. We have a chair in this. Ref distracted. Chair shot to Brett. The ref was distracted. Donnie going somewhere else, tossing the chair out, hidden from the ref. We had some cheap shots. Crowd saw it though, they're giving him crap for it. I don't know, she was in the way. Sheep shots there, and the challengers. The crowd is not happy with this. We're gonna have cheater champions? Breaks the pinfall up though. Mikey in this thing helping out. Have you never seen Matilda? <laughs> Into the turnbuckle. That's going to leave a mark on your face. Aiden's nowhere to be seen. Donnie on the advantage here. Things are looking in favor of the chance, but wait, we have a reversal. Crowd is booing. Reversal back. Donnie denying any attempts here. RK out of nowhere. He lands it. Taunting now. Will we see a finish? Up to the top. High risk. Lands the drop kick. Both are laid out oh, though. We have Brett having a slight seizure in the ring. I think he's recovered. Pinfall attempt. One count after the seizure. This is unpinning. We have. Oh. This could be the beginning of the end. But wait, he's tagging out. Aiden in the match. Donnie rolls out of the ring to recover. Ref starting his 10 count. This is not good for all this effort that Brett's putting in here. He has a last man standing match in the main event tonight. Definitely in the favor of Lock Steady here. Going into the main event. Mikey in. Big clothesline. Full of energy. Full of spunk. Tons of funk. And funk like, you know, funky music. Not Steve. <laughs> Just one. Some clarity on that one. Brett says, why is my heart racing? Is the belt's on the line. The belts mean everything here. Aiden rolling away. Rob said, you said spunks. Stunk. Stink, stank, stunk. Center of the ring. Roll up into... A flapjack, it looks like. No. Into like a weird neck breaker. That was a real interesting move. Setting up a signature here. Not looking good for the champions. A rock bottom. Or the book in. Pinfall attempt. One. Two. Two and a half. Mikey kicks out. Spinning heel. Drop kick. 
the fluff bottom. <laughs> to a spinning neck breaker. Get it right. Mikey rolling out of the ring here to recover. Buying himself some time. Buff Bagwell. Buff the stuff. Mikey getting thrown back into the ring. Aiden taking some time to wear down his opponent even more. Beats Bears Battlestar Galactica. Are we referencing The Office? Which is a great show. Little stylings of uh, styles there. Or Daniel Bryan. Both use very similar moves. Double team maneuver. Working to their advantage, wearing down Mikey. Things are not looking good, but can the champions recover? Finisher, out of nowhere. Mikey lands it. Does he have enough to make a pinfall here? He looks incredibly exhausted. He's going for it. One, two, three. The champs retain out of nowhere. Wow, what an impressive match here. Andrea, Sarah, Desi, Eric, Amanda, and Mikey all score a point. Congratulations, champs, on retaining the belts. Two retains here tonight. Sarah, that puts you at two points. Andrew at one. Desi, two points. Eric at one. Amanda at one. And Mikey at one. Congrats. Hmm? Eric Amanda? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh. He's voting for her. Fluff, you bastard. I lost all respect for you. Fluff is dumb. Sorry, but... Congratulations on retaining those belts. Definitely a great tag team here in NAW. I'm sure they're very proud. As Mikey says, woo, he's very proud to be champion here. Nice job. Brett says, I need a new partner. What do you want as your partner, Brett? A lot of eligible guys on the roster. Make it sound like a dating show. <laughs> a lot of eligible bachelors here. Bachelor number one, do you want to be Brett's tag team partner and battle the other men? Hornswoggle, Rob says. The next match is a DNA Championship Battle Royal. Six people here. From the left to the right, we have Rick, Tragedy, Justin, Jeffrey, Henry the Champ, and Patrick. Patrick, or uh, Jeffrey. So again, left to right, Rick, Tragedy, Justin, Jeffrey, Henry, and Patrick. Get your votes in now for the DNA Championship Battle Royal. All right, Andrea going for Henry here. Locke also votes Henry, as does Sarah. Rob also votes Henry. Mikey votes Henry. Travis says, name them again. One last time, here we got Rick, Tragedy, Justin, Jeffrey, Henry, and Patrick from left to right. Brett picks the champ which is for Henry here. Everyone voting for Henry. Except for Rabbit, we're waiting on Rabbit. Desi voting for Patrick. Stepping away from the herd. We have a few new, well, a couple new faces here in this one. Tragedy winning last week's Battle Royal. Rabbit picking Henry. As does Amanda. Surprised you haven't made uh, Amanda in the game yet, Rabbit. She was a infamous character on our Sims 4 series, available on youtube.com slash ghostinteractment right now on the Sims 4 playlist. You can watch all six of us 
in the DNA household. Our first challenger here, we have Stable Guns. What? Bert? Is that a typo? I can't read that. Bert? Bert Tickler? Bert Tickler? Can you read that? Butler? Okay. <laughs> the man who lags. Welcome to NAW. Thanks for joining us in chat. How you doing? He said, oops, Butler. I was so confused. What, what's a Burtlerker? You do that, that Burtlerker. So our next contender here for the DNA Championship in this Battle Royal match. We have Jeffrey. Again, the rules are simple in this Battle Royal. Throw your opponent over the top rope, both feet hit the floor, they're out. Last one standing in the ring wins the championship. Quite simple. And for the man who legs, again, welcome to the stream. The rules are simple with NAW. You get to vote on who you think will win. You get it correct, you get a point. You have the most points at the end of the show, which is usually five matches. You can decide a match on the next show. You can even have yourself as a character on the show. So if you're interested and have a character on Xbox, let me know. Because I'll download and add you. Getting simple and a lot of fun. And free. It's fun with free, right? Free entertainment every Wednesday here. My favorite F word, that's for sure. Free. So this match is pretty much boiling down to everyone against Desi. So it's Henry and Patrick. We'll see if these are the bottom two in this match. Because if not, y'all are going to not get points. We're all going to be tied. If the show ends in ties, you all get to pick matches. Man Who Lags says, I have PS4. Bummer, man. If you're interested, though, you can still add a character of yours. I'll just have to find a way to create it. So you can whisper us, send me some of your info, like a character name. Brief description, you know, a little background. Where'd you come from? You know, lift weights in it. You know, Mike Tyson's gym. Pasadena. What? <laughs> I don't know. Is that where he also raises his birds? He raises birds. I vaunt my birds. So who's in this match? Great question. We have Henry, Jeffrey, Justin, Tragedy, Rick, and Patrick. So let me know who you think will win. I'll put you down as a vote so you can get in on this awesome game that we have. And you can come up with matches if you win with the most points for the following Wednesday show. And of course, every five episodes we do here, we do a pay-per-view. Our most recent one saw every title change hands, which was crazy. And of course, here's your DNA champion. The Dose of Nerd Acumen champion. You could equate it to the Intercontinental Championship in that, you know, lesser show out there called WWE. They're trying to compete with us here. They even had to throw their logo in the background. They're so desperate for marketing attention. You know who the big dog is. Just admit it. It's not Roman Reigns. Man Who Legs says, Tragedy. Thanks for your vote. Let's hope you get that one right. He won last week's Battle Royale in his debut. He's going against five other people who were debuting. So. I Rob asks an important question. Will there be dick punches? What do you think? Maybe also five years old. I, Rob, is also five years old. 
is Andrea's response. The arrogant one, where are you tonight on the show? Oh, that's right. A loser. Not on there. Ah, it's a fun game, so someone gets an eye poked out. <laughs> Pull. NAW. Some nerd. Are you naming things now? Yellow. What is happening? The man who lags. Are you lagging? So confused. And on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash groups slash wrestling, Patrick voiced his thoughts on this match that he had upcoming. He needs this win. He wants this win. He wants a title. He wants the silver. So we'll see if he's going to be the one to take home the non-gold belt. He said he's lag I'm on a Windows 7 2010 computer it makes sense you're living up to your name the man who lags that's okay at least you're not on an XP machine that can be bad The fact that Windows 7 2010 is old makes me laugh. Technology moves so fast. And this battle royal is underway. Let's see who has the latest technology with winning. Didn't make any sense, but I'm sticking with that segue. Immediate tie ups and break parts. We here. We have Patrick going right after the champ, trying to make a name for himself here. Justin going after Tragedy, and then we have, of course, Jeffrey going after Rick. Looks like we're shaking that up. And we're going right after Rick. We're going to see a first attempt to eliminate. Going right after him. See if he can fight out of it. Who is my favorite superhero? The man who legs ass. Well, my favorite hero, because I don't define him as a superhero, is Batman. Um, superhero, oh, that's tough. Who would I like as a superhero? I don't know. It's not Superman. Patrick facing women. Iron Man is not super either. Yeah, he is Marvel's Batman. Um, superhero? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh no, we have our first elimination here. Henry was eliminated, so what? all of you are wrong. The only person that has chance to win is the man who legs or Desi. Our champion is out. We are guaranteed a new DNA champion here. Well, 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 all the turntables, gadgets galore. Superman is DC. Um, yes, Superman is DC. Um, Sniper. What's up? Hello. We have another elimination here. Jeffrey has been eliminated. We're down to four already for the DNA Championship. Welcome to the stream, Sniper. Let's see. If you're just joining us, rules are simple. You get to vote on who you think will win the matches. If you get the most right at the end of the show, you get to decide a match on the next one. Right now, we're halfway through our program, three of five matches. But feel free to stick around. I'm on Xbox One, so if you have a character and you want to be part of the show, definitely let us know. Send us a whisper so we have it documented, and we will make sure that we you know, add your character. Man Who Legs says Nightwing. Nightwing's a great one. Um, I don't know. There's the big debate on whether they are defined as superheroes or heroes, though, because Nightwing doesn't really have superpowers. Be a really good debate for the DNA crew on a weekly dosage, though. 
A bracket, yeah. Good idea. We do have a bracket challenge coming up next week, of course. Power bomb in the middle of the ring. Rick on the advantage against Tragedy. We have Tragedy in the bottom there rolling to the, the apron. We have Patrick going after him in the yellow. In the blue and the yellow hat, we have Rick. And then we have Justin with the khaki shorts. Man who lags is he here okay? They're the same mind. You know, I mean, sure. It's one of those, like... And Patrick has been eliminated by Tragedy. We're down to three. So Desi is out. The only one that has a chance of winning this thing here is the man who lags. I'm sniping out here on PS4. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, the creator is much better on this one. Um, you should definitely consider getting 19 as well when that comes out. That one's looking really good as far as the the new stuff they're adding. I've been pretty happy with 18 though. It's been one of my favorite, most played in years, that's for sure. Man Who Legs says, let's go tragedy. He's attempting to eliminate Rick here. And he does. Big clothesline. We're down to the final two. We have Justin. We have tragedy. Who's taking home the DNA championship? Will our newcomer, the man who lags, get this one right and steal a win from all the other viewers' belts? Sure looking that way. Go kid and play, he says. That is some sweet hair, though. You gotta admit. Setting up into the corner. Justin's been busted open. This is not looking good at all. And we have our new DNA champion, the man who lags has won this thing with his vote, and Tragedy is our new DNA champion. Making his debut last week in a battle royal, and now winning this one back to back. Definitely earning himself the DNA championship here. Yeah, for sure, PC would be sweet. I'm sure there's more customization that you could do on there. Manu Lag says, I'm only 11 by the way. Well, I'll keep my potty mouth to myself then. Thanks for watching the stream so far. <laughs> There is that warning you have to click. This is for mature oh, audiences. So, who, who listened to that? <laughs> who listened to that warning? <laughs> what do you mean? When I was 17, I would say no. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Redirects you to Google Maps to go play outside. <laughs> That's what happens when you order from uh, Crisis Humanity. When you oh, finalize your order and it tells you to go find the nearest park. So congratulations. Let's move on to our next match here. And yes, you did win. Congratulations. Making yourself known real quick here. But wait, Pierre's coming out to say something. He said there was no mature audience there. Well, there should have been. There was at one point. Uh -oh. <laughs> you say bad words sometimes. I'm sorry in advance. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Did, did you know this? <laughs> there must be part of the paper view. Look at the camera. <laughs> oh, man who likes is swearing now. We're encouraging behavior. I did not encourage such behavior in my chat. Simba, it's the circle of life. Rabbit singing now. <laughs> it might be. He's like crazily wanting my attention. Sarah says I had the mature audience thing pop up. As you should. Um, all three of us are inappropriate. Rabbit says he's drunk. On Wednesday? What's the Wednesday? I mean, I guess. Is, what is happening? People get crazy in the chat here. That's for sure. 
Rob sent me a chat in Hangouts that said it definitely does say mature audiences. So y'all be lying. Pierre has something to say, though. Let's see who he swears. I'm not in the mood to play games, so let's get right down to business. Okay, cat. You're going to have to go. <laughs> I'm not sure who exactly I have to prove myself to around here, but I do know what I need to do. I need to come out here, lay down a challenge, and show you people what a real contender looks like. We're not worthy of the crowd chance. I've watched this superstar put on some excellent matches lately. I think he will give you all... Can't go away. <laughs> ages. I'm bestowing a big honor to the superstar by granting him a match with me. So come out here, Gravity, while to claim my generosity. Can you, like, give her attention? <laughs> Answers the call is Gravity Well. Go check. Probably. Man who legs says, can I have your cat? <laughs> Andrew says, no way, Jose. <laughs> Rabbit's narrating the commentary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just anyone, in case anyone was, uh, okay, let me stop. Rabbit is providing closed captioning. I said, even though there's text on the screen. He's closed captioning the closed captioning. Your underwhelming reaction to being in the presence of greatness would be amusing if it weren't so pathetic. If anyone in this building had the slightest modicum of intelligence, then you'd realize what fools you are by taking for granted the single greatest athlete that NAW has ever been blessed with. Rabbit says, too long. The man who lags is definitely swearing up a storm now. We opened up that gate. Get the hell out of my arena right now. You hear me, you son of a... No, it's good for you for the NAW and the NAW University to leave right now. So that you can say the F word, but you can't say anything in all caps. Yes. Nightbot is stupid. Yes. You're an obstacle. Me, I'm progress. I'm the future. I'm the evolution of this business. Rabbit says, who's the Pierre character? He debuted last night. He's actually a viewer from Germany, so you'd be nice. You're an obstacle, me and progress. I already said that. Let's wait for that next thing to load. Rabbit says he's dapper AF. He looks just like that in real life. Well, in social media life. Listen to me, you son of a... I'm not going to stand here and be made to be a jerk in front of the world. You apologize right now. Apologize for saying what you said, for interrupting me, for taking my time away. Wait, didn't he tell him to come out here? So he Yeah, but the fact that I'm talking back... I think he's not too thrilled with that. I think you've been hitting the head one too many times because it sounds to me like you want a match. You're going to find out the hard way I'm the best pure athlete in the NAW. He's reporting him to HR, Toby. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need to do to him? Say, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All your talk is just that, talk. You can't wrestle and everyone here knows it. If you try to prove me wrong, you'll just embarrass yourself. So head back to the playpen, little boy. Boy. Play the play. We got a match brewing here. Are they winning the Yes, they are. We got kicked to the dick for Rob. Right in the dick. What's this guy's name? Pierre. Pierre. Impromptu match happening, and we're going to see this. So wait, are we voting on this? We're not voting on this. Oh. We're just having a brawl real quick. Pierre, though, turning the tables. Giving it back to Gravity while spine. Gravity will back on him now. Elbow dropping Pierre. Referee coming in here break this thing up. A little impromptu match. I guess if you want a name for yourself, you go after the owner of the company. Am I right? Let's move on to our fourth contest, though. We have, of course, the DNA Tag Team Championship. But wait, we have new challengers here. What happened to Miller Time? I'm getting reports that Miller Time was jumped backstage. We won't be able to compete in tonight's match. So instead, newcomers, Antonio and Isaac are stepping up to go against 
the Tag Team Champions 5 below. Get your votes in now. Do you want the newcomers, Antonio and Isaac on the left, or Rabbit and Desi, Team 5 below, the defending champions, to win this thing? Get your votes in now. <laughs> Rabbit is voting for 5 below. Locke is voting for champs to retain. Sarah's voting for champs to retain. This is a DNA Tag Team Championship Extreme Rules match. Yeah, I'm assuming Desi's voting for himself. Get your votes in now. Antonio Santos is the challenger here. One half of the challengers. Rabbit says, I can't watch this. You place Desi behind the camera on purpose. Yes, always holding the man down. That's what I do. That's what I do best. <sighs> always conspiracies here in NAW. You people are never happy. I treat you with free wrestling content that doesn't cost you $9.99 every week. And this is how you repay me. I'm shamed. I'm saddened. And I hope you lose now, Rabbit. Just kidding. Or am I? Oh no! The other challenger here. A little bit of shadow boxing. Isaac. Oh. Rabbit making a mockery of his opponents here, asking who this meatball is. Well, let's find out. Spicy meatball. Everyone voting for the champs to retain. You can get your votes in now. This is the last call here as the champs are about to enter. Antonio and Isaac versus Rabbit and Desi. Who is going to take home the DNA championship? Tag team championship, that is. Phoenix Rising still using the old moniker, but they are known now as, as they confirmed in chat, Team 5 Below. See if they walk out with the gold, bro. Of course, they recently won this at the pay per view event, which you can catch anytime in our highlights right here on Twitch, or if you jump over to youtube.com slash dose of nerd acumen. We have an NAW playlist where you can watch every single episode that's ever aired, all 11, and tomorrow will be the 12th one uploaded for you all to watch, again, at any time. And no voting, you can't vote on something that's already aired, so sorry. That'd be cheap. Again, this is an extreme rules match, so anything is going to be able to have uh, be done here. Anything goes. Any rules, no rules. Just beat some, beat some ass, right? All we can do is just beat some ass. 
At least that's what the champs think they're going to attempt here. We don't really know much about this newly formed tag team as they formed just last week. One of them actually making their debut in a match and ultimately not winning, but formed a tag team instead and decided that, hey, I'm new here and these are the belts I want. And they jumped Miller Time to make this happen. As mentioned, Miller Time was supposed to compete here, but ultimately could not as they were jumped by, as we just found out, this new tag team. Match is underway. Challengers on the offense. Setting up big moves already. Definitely making a name for themselves. Kicking rabbit wise down. Desi going down. Setting up German suplexes. Vertical suplex. Rabbit needs to turn this thing around, and he does. A little fisherman. Rabbit says, well, they did jump Miller time. Boom. He's a, he's a loyal booer. Rabbit going up and getting some taunting underway here. Champ's trying some offense here. We have a shoulder thrust. Rabbit on the offense. The advantage going outside the ring. Again, anything goes anywhere in this match. So we'll see if they'll use that to their advantage. Sure you heard that. That was a loud ding as he hit the guardrail. Sounded like a skull cracking off that. It's not good for anybody. So everyone going for the champions to win this thing. So we're good to have a multiple tie going into the main event. I'm gonna give me a quick commentary. I'm gonna take a two minute Eric. <laughs> I, I'm definitely not gonna commentary. Take. Rabbit, why don't you start narrating how this video you type? to commentate could have had the first female commentator in NAW history this week but no nah. so who's winning <laughs> I have no clue you have no clue well right now Desi the champion is laid out that's not looking good for him we have our first weapon it looks like being retrieved here in this matchup and it's a table that's not good doesn't get to use it though he's being halted by the champs Back in the ring, we have a double team potential here. Nice power slam. Down he goes. Setting up a power bomb. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. I don't know what you call it, but that's devastating. Rabbit trying to score a pinfall here. Denied immediately. Tag team partner saving him. High risk. Misses and takes out his own partner in the process. Pinfall. He could have turned on his own partner there.
setting up a submission stops that pretty quick waving that one off going for a schoolboy into a super kick on the outside it goes rabbit Desi laid out here not looking good at all sledgehammer rabbit has a sledgehammer throws it down his partner's arm set of suplexes here the three amigos is looking like into a suplex rabbit hurt here Rabbit says it was too heavy does he back on the advantage is he gonna try to score a pinfall here reversal belly to belly crowd not liking this new tag team spine buster setting up potential finisher here this could be the beginning of the end for Desi in the title into the form of a pile driver holding them are wow the strength holding them all day curb stomp we have our blood first blood of this match rabbit lands a curb stomp immediately stopped though in the process of his run here Desi going for the ropes Multiple clotheslines. Pinfall attempt, foiled. Sledgehammer goes flying out of the ring. We got high risk potential here. Is he gonna land on a rabbit? Swanton. Going after Desi. Desi reverses, giving time for rabbit. To score a pin attempt, denied. The back and forth here, this is still anyone's match for the DNA tag titles. Desi looking to be stalking his opponent with a finisher. Lands it. Is Desi gonna steal this one? One, two, two counts, so close. Rabbit rolling to the outside. Pinfall attempt on Desi. We have new tag team champions. Desi and Rabbit have lost the belts after two weeks. Our new debuting Antonio and Isaac have captured their first gold here. No one scores points in that match. Meaning that going into our main event, Sarah has two, Desi has two. And they are the leaders here, Sarah and Desi. Our main event, of course, is Brett and Lock Steady. Last man standing, get your votes in now. Rabbit says that's heavily aggravating after saying, get in the ring, you butt fake. <laughs> the main event is next, Brett, Lock Steady, NAW Championship, last man standing. <laughs> Who are you voting for? Me? Yep. Wow. Andrew's voting for Lock City because Brett had a disadvantage. Uh, Desi says Brett. Desi says Brett. Rabbit wants a rematch next week, invoking the rematch boss. <laughs> Locks say you're ready to get these hands. So I'm assuming you're voting for yourself. Get your votes in now. This is the main event of the night. Again, Desi and Sarah have two points for the lead. There's voting lock.
rabbits voting for Brett. Get your votes in now. This is the main event. Men is voting for a lot. We have everyone's vote. And the champion. This is the match that Brett wanted and was forced into by attacking Locksteady backstage. He honored that. He's a man of his word and said he would give him a championship match even after he was attacked backstage. So this is the match you've all waited for. Didn't want to wait for the pay-per-view, said he would do it here this week. So you all can thank Locksteady, the defending champion, who shows up unlike Universal Champion out there. Two retains tonight, the two titles change hands. What's gonna happen here? The challenger who already had a match tonight came up short. Was he saving his energy for this? Of course, you all know him by now. He's made his presence known. His name is Brett, of course, and the champion, who some of you may not know as he spent a good portion of his career here in NAW losing, as well as being injured. His first singles win actually came from Winning that belt right there in a Hell in a Cell match. Sounds brutal, 
Well, no, it wasn't. Three moves of doom was all it took. Will this repeat or rematch go the same way? That's what it's all about. That's what both of these men want. And I'm sure that's what all of you want. The NAW Championship. I don't want it. Andrew doesn't want it. And here we go. Tie up. Locksteady telling him to basically have a seat. Why don't you have a seat? Immediately going for a chokehold. We can get past three moves here. Locksteady dragging him into the corner. Fans chanting along as we get some head thrusts into the corner. Reversal, right back on his feet. Flying head scissors. Locksteady on the apron and outside. Brett taking a moment here to rejoice. Shouldn't have turned his back though. Locksteady setting up what looks to be a power bomb. Buckle bomb into the turnbuckle. Spinning heel, flying clothesline. Right back on the advantage against Lock Steady here. With that one heckling fan. Knee and clothesline, setting up one of his signature moves. Going high risk. Big coup de gras, right to his midsection. Coupe de Grace. Nope. De nope. <laughs> Several knees to the shoulder in midsection there. Pick up lock steady. Setting up a signature of his. Pile driver. Lock steady down. That's ended some people. Does he have what it takes here to finish off lock steady? He's gonna go for a pin. Setting up another signature, which we've seen here. Shades of the Warrior. Baiting for the finish. Is this the beginning of the end of the champ, Locksteady? Lands a finisher. Locksteady in bad shape here. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Pinfall attempt. NEW champion, once again, is Brett. Rabbit counting the three count along in chat. Desi and Eric both get a point for that. Putting Desi at three. And Eric at two, meaning that Desi is our winner tonight and gets to decide a match for next week's show. Andrew will be sending him a message. And that's the end of the Locksteady era. Like say, says it was nice for a minute. Desi says he's here in chat. Desi, thanks for joining us. You get to decide a match for the next uh, next show. What are you picking? You lost the tag titles tonight. You want to team up with Rabbit again and go for it again? Let us know. While you're waiting here, we have once again seen Brett. Top of the ladder, your NEW champion.
So as we wait for Desi's vote or pick for next week's match, I want to thank you all for joining us for episode 12. Desi says, do we automatically get a title rematch? I mean, there's no rule book, but you're the one that decides that since you got the most votes right. <laughs> so. But again, you would decide. It's your pick. What are you putting yourself in? But yes, this has been episode 12 of Nerd Acumen Wrestling. If you want to be a part of the show ever, if you're kind of just watching, if you're watching this back in a replay, uh, send us a whisper on Twitch, uh, comment in the video on YouTube, wherever you see this video. Let us know if you want to be a part of the show. We'll add your character if you're on Xbox via your hashtag and character name you share with us. And then if you want to join us every Wednesday live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, you can vote along like everyone here did in chat. If you get it right, you get one point. And just like Desi, if you get the most, you get to decide a match for the next show. So the rules are simple, it's easy, it's fun. And again, if you want to join the action, check us out every Wednesday. And of course, every Thursday, except for tomorrow, we get together and do a little thing called the Weekly Dosage, where we talk about wrestling, we talk about all the good culture, uh, we play some games, uh, we do a variety of things, a bracket challenge coming up. So we're approaching our 50th episode in a few weeks. As you can see, we've been doing this for a while. But if you ever want to watch anything of our archive content, head over to youtube.com slash listen to an and then definitely follow us here and then subscribe over on YouTube. So Desi, send me us, send me or Andrew a message, send us a message, let us know what you're thinking. Because this has been Nerd Acting Wrestling. And we'll see you this Friday for a very special episode of the Weekly Dosage as we count down to SummerSlam and NXT Brooklyn. Uh, but also we may have a pre-show, a little cooking show, cooking with rabbit. So be sure to tune in as Friday with some special content. And we'll begin to get all next week. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>